Hey folks, in this video we're going to talk about Claude projects, which are very, very similar to custom GPTs from OpenAI, but are also a little bit more self-contained. And I've found, especially with the latest updates, you know, Claude outputs are, have been pretty strong, pretty useful, uh, pretty robust. And so I've been playing around with it and found it to be really useful. So you typically go to claude.ai forward slash projects. Um, and of course you can always access it from your, your menu. So once you're here, uh, you can always search projects. If you have a bunch of them, you can star them or you can come here and create project. And so the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is to come up with a name. So I'm gonna call this, we're gonna talk a little bit about NC Sarah, which is uh, an agreement for online institution or agreement for colleges across states about what to expect in uh, in online in online courses and programs, so that students in one state are protected uh, from uh, with what goes on at colleges that they're taking or participating in from across state lines. So this, uh, this section here, that is, what are you trying to achieve? This is really your own description. This isn't going to actually help with the, the programming or the, the fine tuning of the project itself. So I'm going to see, uh, just keep it simple. Say NC Sarah guidance. And then very simple, you just hit create project. And right off the bat, you've got a couple different things here. So you can really get into just talking with it. You can, of course, change the models. Anything you do in here, you can continue to create different threads. So you'll have several chats down, several different threads down here that you can always refer to. But we're actually going to come over here because there's two things we want to do. We want to add content. So we want to give it knowledge. We want to give it uh, re materials that will be really helpful for it in making sense of what it's supposed to do, but we also want to give it its custom instructions. So I'm gonna put a chunk of explanations here of what I want it to do. And I'm just gonna hit save. Um, this was my own like, I want you to be an expert in all things NC Sarah. And we wanna add content. And so for adding content, we're just so we're going to go to add content upload from device and so we're in a folder we're going to select all the items and we're just going to hit open and it's going to take obviously a few moments for it to all get in there and so i'm going to just give it a pause till it up so i have added a bunch of files i think probably 19 or 20 files and these are all from the nc sarah website about the different aspects of understanding nc sarah so it's regulatory stuff. It's it's complicated stuff, things that, you know, can take a while to sort through and make sense of. Um, also notice it tells me how much of the knowledge size that I, I'm using. So this is a cool thing to know is like, you can upload a, a good amount of documents. In this case, I uploaded, I think 19 and it took them all. And now that's part of my knowledge base. That's where it's gonna, you know, it's gonna have a primacy to look towards the knowledge base to generate its answers. So let's actually take a first stab at this one. And I'm gonna pop in this question of like, what are the first five comprehensive steps to take internally uh, before even engaging with NC Sarah? So I give it a context. I say, this is what we're trying to figure out. Let's see what it has for us. So as usual, it's gonna take a moment or two to kind of go through that document, right? Contemplate, contemplating, please stand by. So it's generated its answer. And so first it gives this like concise summary, then it goes into a detailed explanation. And one of the things, and I certainly did this as part of that custom uh, guidance, is that I told it that whenever it gives me information, it needs to actually tell me where I can find that, it, like what document and where I can find that. So it tells assess institutional readiness, and then it tells me where I can find that. And then it tells me, you know, evaluate financial stability, and it tells me where I can find that point of reference, right? So it's going through a couple different things here. That all looks good. And so I want to follow it up with another question of uh, who should, you know, who should be involved in this process? So again, it's going to look at its data sources and really, once again, gives me that outline. Here's who, and then typically a little bit more about why and where, again, that information comes from. So in this way, like I can treat it as like, I take a set of documentation. I think this is really gonna be helpful in things like grant writing. This is gonna be really helpful in accreditation and other types of things where like you've gotta work with a bunch of different documents and figure out 
you know, what, what's going on. So a couple other things is over here on the right, you can always go back to chat controls. And if there's any additional things you want to uh, include or, or make reference to, uh, you can always switch or you can rename these chats. So if you're doing something that's pretty extensive and you really want to like clarify its name because it didn't actually create a good name for where you ended up, you can always rename it and then you can, and of course you can delete it. You can always go back to the project. Notice down here, it has that previous chat. So I can always go back to that chat or I can start a new chat. I can always come over here and I can actually remove documents. So if there's a document that's no longer relevant or for some reason it's producing, you know, it's, it's interfering with things, I can remove it, I can add new ones. Um, and then of course, as I said, you can, you can save it up here. So it can be a really useful tool. Again, if you're working around things where you're trying to go across different documents, you're trying to make sense of regulatory stuff. Uh, I think this is a really powerful thing that, um, is to me has been really fun to explore and has me thinking about a bunch of different projects that I'm working on or will be working on in the future. Uh, a caveat to this is unlike, uh, chat GPT, you can't share the threads, you can't share this as a bot. Uh, if you are using the team version of Claude, you can share it within your, your team, but this is just one restriction that's worth noting about, that's worth just kind of being aware of um, as you start to use this. But uh, I still find it to be a really cool and robust tool to, 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 to explore. So hope you find this useful. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. Thank you.